Welcome back to episode two of Twin City Throwdown. Where are we, Dylan? Johnson Street Park. Why are we here? Because I lost. That's right, Dylan lost the last episode, so he chose the course that we're at today. I got second, so I choose the holes. As a reminder, Eric is leading the series one to zero to zero. First to three wins in the series takes down the inaugural Twin City Throwdown. Let's get into it. Twin City Throwdown! All right, so first hole I picked is hole 10 at JSP. 212 feet, blue tee. The reason I picked it is because I have few advantages, few advantages with these guys, but I feel like I throw a decent hammer. So the first shot for me, I'm hammering through this tiny, tiny gap. Skip. Well, that's not as far as I wanted. It's gonna be a far putt. I'm gonna go with my felon. What are you doing? Flex. Flex? Yeah. Do it really right. That's what we needed. That's all right. That's what we needed. It's all right. And now the real, re the only other person that I felt like was actually gonna do well in this hole. I'm nervous. He throws a decent hammer. I'm gonna throw a hammer here too, just to hit the gap. So, Red Ripper baby, my go-to hammer disc. Shoot. You're on the same spot. Right. Oh, I didn't roll. That flipped quick. Well, <laughs> if you guys saw the previous episode, Eric's putting carried him. We have the same putt. We'll see how that plays out. So Dylan's disc, actually not that out of position. It'll give me a putt. Solid downhiller. Dylan loves downhill putts. He was telling me about it yesterday. Yeah, that's a tapper. It's a tap in, roll into the woods. Oh man, I was about to say we're looking for a lunar roll away here, but... No, yeah. <laughs> this is the reason I have a banger in my bag, is for situations like these where I'm worried the lunar's gonna roll a million miles. Luna! What the heck kind of roll was that? <laughs> I don't have anything that I feel like I can confidently get in. And I feel like Eric's got a decent chance here, so... I'm gonna do a little bit of a run with the ultimate goal of just laying up. And that'll give me a farther putt than I like for number two. A disadvantage of being out, because now Eric can just lay up. I'm not laying up. Ah, well. We'll go lofty bid, Mr. Yeah. Sa Mr. Safe. Mr. Safe. Fly, keep flying. All right. Man, that thing's sad. Nice flat, nice That's and flat putt. If you put it flat, it just sits. Like. Science rules. EV7 soft plastic squishes into the leaves. Squishy, squishy. Ethan's got a fun little gap here. Yeah. You better believe I'm taking every disc for it. Yeah. It's a straight putt. This is a garage putt. Am I going to let these two trees get in my head? Possibly. If I were a tree, what a tree I'd be. If I were a tree, what a tree I'd be. Probably. With his first shot. Let's go home. Garbage with that. Let's take that tap in. But All right, where are we going next? It's really hard when you get to pick the holes and you still bogey on the first one. So, go this way. Off into the woods. Disappointing first hole, so ready to right the ship. Hole 11, very straight shot. You can go to the right side of this like middle tree up there or the left side. Uh, I think that there's a lot of opportunity for first available. Just hope it's not me. Eric is up first. We played a tournament over at Sun Sunrise yesterday, and this was uh, one of the rounds was three discs. I, I, this was one of my three discs. I was ripping it yesterday, so. You got a CTP with that yesterday. I did, I won a CTP first throw of the tournament on hole seven at Sunrise. Parked it, stood for two full rounds. So, 
My greatest disc golf achievement. So far. <laughs> First prize at Deep Roots. Oh. Tree low. Yeah. It did, did fight through, but it's not close to the basket. Probably be a layup for a three. You know, you said it was our first achievement. I thought we won like some kind of prize at Sundance recently. I'm just trying to play like James Critics Conrad. Critics say, thank you for this. This is amazing. This is great. When James Conrad tripped on that first tee box, I lost it. Hilarious. Y'all nailed the impression. Uh, so fun to watch. We might have. Do we win a prize at Sundance? I'm just kidding. Best documentary. All right, I'm gonna go with my felon. Only disc I feel like I can throw decently consistent. I don't understand why you're not throwing your felon that's stamped. Because this one's a little more overstable. We want to put that exact same stamp on that disc. I told Eric he could. Mm. Get right. I'm back. That looks good. That looks like a lucky gap. Not gonna lie. Hey. I don't you, care. Lucky. You not played lucky. the Heiser play. I play it. Local route. I hate Local these route. Guys. Yeah, I'm going with the Paige Pierce Blue Soul. Blue Soul. American flag stamp. Hmm. Support the troops. I'm just trying to throw it straight and just hope it misses a tree. First available. There's a lot of opportunity for first available. Just hope it's not me. <laughs> I have an open gap for sure. It's like throwing this soft enough with control to let it hyzer out at the end and give me a putt to save this atrocious three, so. Oh, yeah. So let's walk to Nathan's disc. Oh, there it is. Three steps. I'm thinking uh, Davey would be a good course for the next one. Oh, give me a putt. So I tried it the first time. We got Leaf Erickson here. All right, I'm probably not gonna make this, but I'm gonna give it. Just try to get it up there for a, you know, three, whatever. The Dylan's pretty much parked. He's got ten foot putt. Roll. Nah, that'll work. I'll take it. This is the best drive I've ever had on this hole. So. Yeah. I'm gonna use my mini here. Good old Twin City Throwdown. Good time for firsts. Also, a good time for making putts. Oh! All right, Dylan with the one-stroke lead. Here we go. Eric even. Yeah, and Nathan's here for fun. <laughs> Dylan contemplating which felon he's going to throw. I am. <laughs> <laughs> three strokes back of the leader with three holes to play. I can't. I won't say it can't be done, but there's doubts. Um, so I've brought them to hole 13. Very few advantages, even fewer than I expected to have. I was pretty disappointed when Dylan picked JSP to begin with, but I brought them to the next three holes, which are gonna be big hyzer plays. Probably no surprise to them, but I'm gonna try to see if my distance can help me out here. So hole 13, 350 feet, big hyzer play. Let's see how it goes. So Eric was joking about me choosing a felon. I'm actually gonna go with the destroyer on this one, so. I threw this well yesterday in the tournament, so we'll see what happens with, with it today. Looks good. Looks like the headwind just took you maybe 100 feet down the fairway. And that's what I was hoping for. The only unfortunate thing about that is you gave Eric the win read of his life. The win, keep it low and slow, or keep it low and fast. Go with my new D2. That's good. Hold. Get really left. Into the woods, go. It didn't look like it did. We'll see, it might have bit right there in the dirt, but not long enough. I feel like you should never do your first on-camera X step on a third hole of the day after throwing like two short shots. So my arm might come off, but we'll see. I am going Jomez Pro Nuke. He's nuking it. This is stupid. You left. Oh, give me a putt. Really give me a putt. First X step on camera. Arm hurts though. <laughs> Dylan in an absolutely atrocious spot. I mean, there is the fairway, there's the other holes fairway, and then there's where Dylan is. 
which is two fairways away. So this will be challenging. What do you think you're gonna do? Try to get out to the fairway. Just get out to the first fairway, or the second fairway. Second. Okay. Just got a full forehand flick. The fact that you got that far is amazing. You're right in front of mine. That's Please. amazing. I don't know how you did that. You have to be proud of yourself. Yeah, I mean, I threw the Manta, I trust that shot, so, I mean, I don't like throwing that shot, but I know I can throw it and usually get out of spots, so. You're seeing the canopy. Got a little uh, low ceiling here with my friends, the trees. Uh, You're getting a nice back scratch from them. Yeah, I'm gonna go PA3, just try to lay it down there. Not trying to make this. Skip, skip Say it. further. Oh, that was not great. Yeah. Makeable for you. It's makeable, but not as close as I would like. Dylan here on a knee, same canopy that Eric was underneath. Somehow I got all the way out here though, so. Less friendly. Sit. Oh, almost ricocheted. Yeah. I'll okay. take that. Friendly tree kick. Yeah, clean up before mantas. move on. Mantas have sold their soul to the devil. They have friends with trees. All right, Nathan up for his birdie. This is critical. This is No, huge. I'm taking it this slope. This is a low ceiling. This is a, I'm gonna call it 30. I mean, not outside circle. Sure, you're not outside circle. Yeah. I don't jump up well anyway. Nope. It's a low ceiling. Not much I could really do there. I need about 20 more feet with this nuke. All right, you got probably like a 20 footer. I wish I had a heckle card. So frustrating, y'all. <laughs> but have you guys ever noticed how like Dylan lines up his eye like he's about to like shoot a revolver? Like, what does that do? I don't know. I just can't squint with my other eye. So. I feel like it doesn't do much. Well, that's gonna help me pick up one stroke. So I'm one behind Eric, two behind Dylan. Yeah, this is a uh, hole 14. It's another big hyzer play. It's a mid-range hyzer play for me. Uh, no X step this time. 272 feet downhill. It's all about not being early and not being late. You really got to execute on this. A little momentum coming, so you know I got to go with my prodigy disc. AK save the whales. AK save the whales Malta. There was a bee I was following. I had too much coffee, dude. I can't even see straight. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Literally. Like coffee before I got here, like four shots of espresso, and then Eric made me coffee. And I don't know how many shots that was, but. It was two. We're working on six shots right now. I'm approaching the legal limit. It's <laughs> <laughs> early. It's all about not being early. That's unfortunate. That's gonna be like a 60 foot putt in the woods. All right, I'm gonna go with my first run of Vader here. I don't need to do that. I didn't hit it though. Here's Derek. He's he's not really acting like a Derek anymore. He's back right, to his right, normal right, back form. Here. I'm going deep roots A3 here. Did you see a bunch of people saying that <laughs> only Derek could hit the broadside of a barn during our ace video? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh, that was pretty funny. I did hit the broadside of the barn several times. Yeah. So if only I had been aiming there. Yeah. All right. Really stiff headwind. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Nathan's playing all these mind games. He's saying don't hit the metal. Stroke penalty. Now he's in my head. Just like uh, the rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. That looks good. Get left with It'll me. It'll be a little early for sure. That might be better than me. Still. Yeah, it slipped a little bit out of my hand, but I'll take it. I mean, it is what it is. Still ye early. It's a little slippy. Hope is fleeting. This is not a putt. I feel like I can make. I feel like you, you like I can lay up here. Yeah, I could lay up here, but then I'm conceding. I could scoob and like hope for something miraculous. Like the scoob's not even the play. I just don't have anything that can do that. Maybe I could go high. All right, I'm trying to zone for putting because I have to almost do like a spike hyzer putt with it. So that's what I'm trying. This is not conventional. I'll try this at home. 
Ah. I'll tap him for three, but I tried. All right, I'm breaking it out. Hoping it just sticks down there at the bottom. A lot of good memories with that disc. A lot of losses. <laughs> hey. Good tree kick. Man, the trees Save are loving. Bar. The trees are loving you today, Dylan. Hey, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. He's inside the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, close. Got a little Annie. Hunt. Ooh, it hits metal. It was close. Not high enough. Ah! Here's the tap ins. Dylan going to the last hole with the one strip lead on Eric. Last yeah. hole? Last Five hole. Holes, yeah. Oh, I thought that was hole three. Five holes, girl. Where are you guys going? We're definitely playing the whites. <laughs> Change it up. Alright. Alright, this is a whole different hole. It is. We've never done it. Nope. Which is why I thought it could be fun. A little bit of a curveball for them. We thought we were playing the blue tee. We're playing the white tee, but not only the white tee, we're playing the far basket. All the way at the top of this hill. Versus the one on the left. So, who are you cheering for here? You got Eric one stroke down. You got Dylan. He's been kind of hot recently. Been kind of hot recently. Always hot. And one more. <laughs> <laughs> that was cringy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go with my felon. I think I'm gonna take the forehand. Be nervous. It'd be a shame to get up a one strip advantage. <laughs> All the Team Dylan fans, you have your own hashtag, dude. I don't think we Eric or I have that. In the woods. Kick out. I think it'll stay out, yeah. Kicked out. Yeah. It's fine. Not bad. It's fine. Take it. Not as much distance, but. Talk about a man who's not nervous. He's been here before. Especially the last round <laughs> where he came back. So he's going. I think I'm gonna go catch up this. Catch up. I, I hope I don't yank it in the woods. Alright, just a little flip, hopefully just go nice and straight. That looks nice. That looks really nice. I mean it'll be about the same spot we going up. Ooh, oh, the bad kick into the woods. That was a weird skip. It was very straight though. Probably leave me a nice forehand approach. That was really catch up. He's going from felon to felon. Never give up. That's why I'm in this right now. Never give up. You're saying it's so quiet. It's all right. Hey, Team Dylan fans, understand what I'm saying. Eric says you've been tied for the lead the entire time. Oh, it's a launch. He fights back. It looks like it does. Oh, and he stays out of OB. Woo! He's got some awkward footing. There's no chance of a run up here. Yeah, it's a good way to tear an ACL. <laughs> but here's my conundrum: is that so? Dylan had a good shot there. He didn't get to like a makeable putt, I would argue. But I I need to pick up a stroke, so I need to get up there with a chance to at least like make like a ridiculous putt. Otherwise, you can just lay up. So. Yeah. And I have to throw a freaking forehand. Yeah. I'm gonna go F3. F3. Better flip. I don't want to be in those woods over there. Yeah, it looks pretty good if it fights back. Oh, I'll be in the woods. Oh no. It just stalled. Yeah, it stalled on me. I just don't have the arm speed forehands to like do shots like that. It is what it is. I have to throw this in. And uh, my disc is right there. A little blue uh, dot. Yeah, so I'll go. Let's go make that. Yeah, if there's one disc that I could pick for you to throw in, I would feel like it'd be the Manta. Put it high. Some love. But it looks good. He yard sells out for his fans. Oh, you're good. You only. You're good. Alright, just didn't want to hit a car. <laughs> he landed some thorns. Oh. Eric loves disc golf. He hates his body though. Scratch my neck. The music comes on right now. Why? Because you're two easy shots away from taking the lead. Oh yeah. There it is. Good shot. Good shot. Here it is. Yes! There we go. Another win. 
tied it up with Eric in the Twin City Throwdown. So, let's feel I, it. Feeling good. I'm going to say you're three of last four. I yep. am. That's Guess nice. who picks, picks the holes next week, though. Guess who picks the course. This guy. So, where are we going, Nathan? Where are we going next? All right, guys. You ready? We are playing the next Twin City Throwdown at Patriot. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right. The, okay. Heart, the heart of it all. The heart of it all. So um, I'm going to start game planning tonight. Yep. Yeah. Eric's got five holes there he's got to choose. Yeah. The reason I picked Patriot, hopefully, is because the holes I'm bad at there are the holes Eric's bad at there. That's true. I feel like you and I have similar play style. Dylan's a different play style. Exactly. Yeah, All right, Dylan. All right, guys, we're Deep Roots Disc Off. If you like what we're doing, like and subscribe down below. It really helps us out. We'll see you on the next one. Let's go.